Hi there. Today I'm going to be fishing for Sarreta. Sarreta is the name we give in northern Spain, in Galicia, for small pollock. Uh, that means that they're between half a kilo to a kilo and a half, two kilos. After that, we change the name to Abadejo. So small pollock. Now there are several ways of fishing them, and I'm going to be using lures. I'm going to be spinning for them. Okay, now the lures that I have tried and tested before and work very well are two in particular. One is the Rapala original made of balsa wood and it's, it's very small, it's a silver color and it's two centimeters. Very very small and made of balsa wood with no weight. The other one that has been tried and tested is a Lucky Craft Humpback Minnow. Again, this one's made of plastic and with a little bit of noise to attract the fish. Uh, both have been tried and tested, slightly bigger. Yeah, so that's 2.5 centimeters. Slightly bigger, uh, but both work very well. This is a gray color with a yellow stripe along the, the side. Uh, excellent, excellent fish. Yeah. They also work very well in, in lakes and rivers. Both of them are floating. Uh, sorry, I repeat that. The Lucky Craft is a floating, the Rapala is a sinking. Apart from these two, which as, as I say have been tried and tested, I'll also be using the next size up to the Rapala original, exactly the same fish, just the next size up, which is again 2.5 centimeters, two hooks. Uh, I'll also be using a heart, which is a black and silver sided uh, fish uh, with a much larger lip so it catches the depths. Hopefully it doesn't catch the rocks. Um, and I'll be using this one for the first time for pollock. I've used them before for other things. Uh, for mackerel, for example, and I'll probably catch a few mac mackerel, but what I'm after is the actual pollock. Apart from those, I'll also be trying for the first time uh, a Rapala original blood. Now this is a green color, and the difference also made of balsa wood. The only difference between the original original and the original blood is basically the original blood has red hooks and a red lip. Apart from that, they work in exactly the same way. Now, I also want to try today for the first time in the sea, I've tried them in the river, in lakes, not the river, and they work very, very well, is the shad wrap, uh, shad wrap shallow. Bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, I love the action of, of these these fish. The originals are very much a rolling type fish. Uh, this has more of, uh, sorry, I repeat that. The originals have a wobbling type uh, action. So these lures are wobbling, whilst the Lucky Craft lure is more of a rolling. But they both work very, very well. They're tried and tested. Uh, and I'll explain what I do so that I can actually cast them. Apart from those fish, I'll also be using for the first time the squiddies, the squid, which is hard body, has a type of uh, lip and soft vinyl tentacles with two hooks, which are rather sharp. Uh, this is a heart and it's 12 grams in weight. I'll also I'll use the same technique to be able to cast these as I do as I will with the fish which I'll show you in a second and I'll be using a blue fox squid which again is hard body with a lip and the tentacles. Now I'll probably uh, catch other squid or mackerel. With any of these mackerel is always uh, a probability. 
Uh, apart from those, I'm going to be using piccolos. Now, these are vinyl, soft bodied lures with a weighted head and a lip. And I'll be using two colors, the white, which should give very good results, and the kind of pinky with black spots, glittery color. Now, I'll be going to two different places. One of them is up here, but I'll be very close to the water. I'll be at the water's edge. Uh, and that's where I'll be using the fish, mostly. And then I'll be at the port where the the big ships, the trans transatlantic cruisers dock. And I know there's a lot of depth there. So I'll be using the piccolos there. And I'll be using them uh, in a very similar way, if not exactly the same way as jigging from a boat, even though I'll be on land. Now the piccolos come in several uh, sizes and several colors. Here's a, a big one, so you can see. Yeah, and it's piccolo. Yeah, so it, I'm not sure whether piccolo means small, but o obviously means water. They're French, and uh, they give rather good results. Uh, the problem is that sometimes, especially with the mackerel, they, they will bite off the end of the, the tail. But you can buy the bodies and the heads separately. These uh, are 9 grams in weight. This particular one here is 21 grams in weight. I won't be using that one today. That's more for the bigger uh, pollock or, or, or sea bass. Now, these out of the way, these are excellent by the way, these out of the way. The way that I cast these, because they have, especially this one, they have absolutely no weight whatsoever. They're made of balsa wood uh, or even the Lucky Craft. It, it just has no weight whatsoever. Uh, they wouldn't even register on, on, a, on scales unless they were very, very sensitive scales. Is by using bulldoz. Now this is a bulldoz from the make buldo and uh, this particular one is 18 grams and it's my one of my favorites it has a lead weight at the front and then an air cavity so what that means is that it will actually sink very 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 slowly giving me the opportunity for a very slow retrieve and stopping the lure tugging the lure retrieve then it drops slightly etc. Now these come in several weights. Uh, for example, this is a 40 gram uh, bulldog and uh, this has a gravity of 8. What that actually means is that it should go down between three, between 2 and 3 meters and then lie suspended. Now that will depend a lot on the uh, how much salt there is in the water, whether you're fishing in an estuary, whether you're fishing in the open sea, whether it's been raining or not, etc. And in my experience, they don't lie suspended. You'd have to wait a long time for them to reach the bottom, but they will eventually reach the bottom. Now, the way to set up is very easy. Uh, I'll be using a Duraflex 025 millimeter line, which is an eight pound line. And basically all you do is you feed. First of all, you have to feed the line through all the guides because this will not go through the guides of your rod, unless you have a massive rod. And you feed the line through the bulldog. This is not the actual line I'm going to be using. This is a, a much thicker line. It's just for, for reference. And that's the position. This part is towards the rod, and this is the part that would uh, that I would attach the the uh, the lure to. Now, when they when you retrieve, they retrieve in this direction. Okay, what I do is take a swivel, and I make myself a clinch. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm doing it a bit quick here. Make sure everything's correctly done. So that acts as a stopper. 
So when I cast, it will fly in that direction. And then I retrieve in this direction. And this builder gives me the opportunity to actually stop, start, tug it. Uh, it's a much slower retrieve. There are other options that you can use. You can use sinkers where you would attach the, the main line to one end and the leader to the other end and they come in different sizes and different weights but I prefer the bulldog simply because of the way that it behaves it sinks very very slowly giving me the opportunity to stop tug and uh, give it some jerks every now and again uh, which I like very much now from the swivel to the lure I'll be using a fluorocarbon I'll be using a Seagar soft 0 th uh, 33 millimeter line a fluorocarbon line and I'll be giving it a meter and a half to two meters I'm going to be using a three meter rod and the amount that you give it never give it minimum less than a meter so the minimum would be a meter but uh, it will really depend on the amount on the length of rod that you're actually using so the swivel acts as a stopper you don't have to worry about it going up because it won't do that and uh, then from the swivel to the lures I'll be using fluorocarbon and then a click just to attach the lures these I'll probably go direct yep, in other words I'll just attach a clip I'll, I still have a leader a fluorocarbon leader and then I'll just attach it to the clip without the, the need of a bulldog and uh, these I, I'll fill up my bath one day and show you how they work they, they they are absolutely wonderful they really are wonderful so today I'll be spinning for Pollock small Pollock um, and I uh, presume I'll be catching a few mackerel as well and even possibly a squid or two who knows there are many things down there so I'll let you know how I get on and until later thanks very much